Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you all so much. Oh, I'm ready for it to be the weekend again. I enjoy the weekends a lot. <laughs> but, um... There's something that the Lord shared with me very recently. And he's put in my spirit to share this with you because there's some of you, the Lord has shared this thing with you before. And you're like, did I hear God right? So guys, the Lord has made us promises and things that he says he's going to do. Whether it's healing in your body and just other things. And you're waiting in faith some are waiting and okay I'm tired of waiting Lord what's going on Lord but I'm here to tell you that some of the promises of God will be for it will come into fruition when you are rewarded upon the return of Jesus Christ when we are entering in because we people think that okay we're going to go up to heaven but actually a new heaven uh, uh it'll be a new earth because heaven is going to come here this earth everything will be gone we won't need the sun we won't need the, the the moon we won't need the stars anymore if you read in revelation everything on this planet is going to change and the lord will come down and we will return and we're going to come back and everything is just going to be glorious. We're going to be in our glorious bodies. And this world, this earth, everything we've known will no longer be as it is. But as it was meant to be, it's going to be beautiful. So how do you read that? Start in Revelation. Read, start Revelation in one and just keep going. You run into it. But some of the promises that God has said that he will give you. I'm not talking about cars and stuff like that. Certain things the Lord has spoken to you. Those things are going to come into fruition and you're going to see those promises when you are transformed before the Lord and when you see all the things that the Lord has prepared. The word of God says, eyes has not seen, nor has it entered into the hearts of man, all the things that the Lord has prepared for those who love him. And I think what is probably even more astonishing is that there's a lot of people that will be sorely disappointed at what I just said. You mean to tell me that the things that the Lord has promised me, I won't get it here. I'm only going to get it there. Oh, because what's important to them is acquiring things in this world, which is in fact junk, which is in fact nothing. Now, I'm not talking about our families and the things that God has blessed us with, but it is garbage compared to the things that the Lord has prepared for us. But there are things that the Lord has spoken to you that will come, come into manifestation in this earth realm. But there are other things, guys, that you and I may not be able to comprehend. And we can't get it because you're going to be thinking in your natural mindset. You're going to be thinking in the natural. Well, how is this possible if... X, Y, Z, if this is supposed to be like this, and then the Bible says this, and, 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 and then I thought the Bible said this, well, what about this? Because this is what I asked for. How is this going to happen then? Guys, we have, we probably picture heaven. We can't even picture heaven, okay? Anything we try to picture is just raggedy. We cannot. Not even the best paintings and you know the best graphics movie or film you've ever seen can capture what heaven is like so in our mind in our natural mind there only there's a limit to what we can really comprehend and understand 
But guys, some of you, including me, because the Lord has spoken to me about this, there are certain things that the Lord has spoken into our lives that he said will happen that we will see when we are transformed and we are changed and he will give it to us at that time when we are with him in glory. Certain things that you have prayed about and asked the Lord for and you're waiting for it to come in the natural, it is going to happen when you are transformed and when you're before the Father because there are things that God is preparing for us in heaven that you're praying for right now. Guys, I'm not talking about no cars. I'm not talking about that. And I think only certain people is going to understand this message. There are certain things that you will get in the natural. And then there are other things that you are waiting for in the natural that God is saying it's not going to come in the natural. You will be rewarded with this, these things. This particular thing I said to you, it is waiting for you in glory. You will get it. You will get that and more than you ever thought you would ever get when you are with me in glory. Does that make sense? Is it clear as mud? I'm sure. Guys, don't overthink this. But I'm trying to tell you that there is no reward, nothing you and I can ever get on this earth that is going to beat the rewards and the things that God has for us in heaven. You and I can't imagine that. And you'll be like, oh, but I wanted it. I, you know what? No. If God says certain things that he has spoken into my life, certain things will be upon. I don't. And, and this is the thing. Immediately, the human mind starts to think, well, what could it be? Well, I pray for this. Are you saying, God, that this particular thing is what I'm going to get then? Because how could it be, God? But God just wants me to put that out there to you. You don't have to try to connect the dots. Because some of you, the Lord already said it to you. Certain things is for the certain things that the Lord has spoken, we are so caught up in the natural that people are not thinking about eternity. And God's children need to get out of just thinking about now, this world that's going to pass away, that's going to become transformed. People don't think about eternity. They're not thinking about that. If you think about eternity, people just think, oh, well, I'm going to die. But how about you're not going to die. This body is going to die, but you're going to live on. And then there's eternity, whether everlasting life or eternal damnation. And so you find a lot of people, they just think about now, and that's why many souls are lost. There is not one lost soul that's lost that didn't hear the gospel or didn't know. They just chose, oh, I'm not ready, or I'll do it later, or I don't believe. But guys, there's eternity. And the Lord needs us to change our mindset outside of just this natural environment we're in. There are things we must do. You got to get up. You got to go to work. You have to take care of your family. You have to follow the laws, whatever the case may be, guys. But the Lord just wanted me to drop that. I was surprised when I heard it. And I was like, God, what, what, what? <laughs> Would you, well, exactly what, Lord, you know, that wants to come in your head. But guys, we cannot begin to fathom what God has for us. That's why there's nothing in this world. Anything you and I can look at in this world and desire and think is so great, it's garbage compared to what God has. Eyes have not seen, nor has it entered, Is and it's not possible for it to enter into our hearts all that God has prepared for those who love him and those who obey him. So that means anything you see right here, God has better. 
I'm sorry. I think I want that. We have to stick with the Father, guys. Stick to Him. Let's not look at His hand for His promises. Let's not seek Him out for what He can give us. Let's not just meet Him to dig in His pockets to see what we can get. But guys, somebody need to hear this. And somebody's going to be like, oh, I totally get it. And some of you, you won't. But not all promises that God has given is for this realm and for this time. All right, guys. Bye.